Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Zargam Riaz and I am from Comsat University, Islamabad, Vakant Campus. Today, the topic of our presentation is bioweapon. Here are my group members. These are the table of contents which we will cover in our topic. So starting from the introduction, what are bioweapon? Bioweapon are also known as germ weapon. These are viruses, fungi, toxins or other biological agents that may be utilized as weapons against human, animal or plants. Now, what is bio warfare? Biological warfare also known as germ warfare is the use of biological toxins or infection agents such as bacteria, viruses and fungi with the intent to kill harm or incapacitate humans, animals or plants as an act of a war. Now another related word to bioweapon is bioterrorism. The act of bioterrorism can range from a simple hoax to the actual use of these biological weapons, also referred to as agents. Several nations have are seeking to acquire biological warfare agents and there are concerns that terrorist group or individual may acquire the technologies and expertise to use the destructive agents. History of the bioweapon The concept of bioweapon started in the Middle Ages. During the French and the Indian War in the 18th century, British forces under the direction of Sir Geoffrey gave blankets that had been used by smallpox victim to the Native American in a plan to spread the disease. The proper start of biological warfare was starting during the World War I when Germany attacked America using the anthrax virus. That is a perfect virus in the history. The Geneva Protocol of 1925 was signed by 108 nations. We will discuss about this later. Spread of biological agents. How biological agents are spread? There are many ways through which they spread. Number one is through the air by aerosol sprays. Number second is used in explosives. The other methods through which the biological agents can spread are by putting these agents into food or water or by absorbing them through or injecting them into the skin. Let's move toward the perfect bioweapon. The perfect bioweapon till now is anthrax. The importance of anthrax is that it is a serious zoonotic disease that can affect most mammals and several species of bird but is particularly important in herbivores. Now the question is how people get anthrax. People get anthrax by breathing in spores, eating food or drinking water that is contaminated with spores or getting spores in a cut or scrap in the skin. Falling picture tell us about the phases of anthrax in people. Symptoms of anthrax. Anthrax can enter the body through four main passages and each of these passages has different symptoms. Number one is cutaneous anthrax. The symptom of this anthrax is swelling of lymph glands. Number second is gastrointestinal anthrax. The main symptoms of this anthrax is fever and nausea, loss of appetite, diarrhea, swollen neck. The next anthrax is inhalation anthrax. The main symptoms of this anthrax include shortness of breath, flu-like symptoms, nausea and high fever, coughing of blood and shock. The next anthrax is injection anthrax. The main symptoms of this anthrax include significant swelling, shock and multiple organ failure and redness in the injected area. Treatment of the perfect bioweapon anthrax. Doctors have several options for treating patients having anthrax including antibiotics and antitoxin. Patients with serious cases of anthrax need to be hospitalized. They may require aggressive treatment such as continuous fluid drainage and help breathing through mechanical ventilation. Is coronavirus a bioweapon? There is no evidence till now to suggest that COVID-19 virus is a biological weapon. Two premillenary studies indicate that COVID-19 virus could have passed through pangolin. As more research is conducted, the transmission chain of the COVID-19 virus will become clear. Scientific evidence suggests the COVID-19 virus spilled over from animal to people. Applications of the biological weapons The first one is biological weapons and the shadow war. Biological weapons are used in special forces operation. 
biological weapons focus largely on assassination and special operation forces. Biological weapons related research and development activities are small scale. Following are some of the advantages and disadvantages of biological weapon. They create panic. They are difficult to diagnose and treat as weapon. They can be easier, faster to produce and more cost effective than other weapon. The disadvantages include protections of worker and public as released in environment. Heat and shock waves may kill many organisms. They have poor storage survival. In the last Let's move towards the prevention of bioweapon. That how we can get rid of these bioweapons. Bioweapon Convention. The Bioweapon Convention is the first multilateral disarmament treaty banning an entire category of weapons of mass destruction. BWC effectively prohibits the development, production, transfer, stock peeling and use of biological and toxic weapons. Bioweapon Convention is open for signature on 10th of April 1972 and the working of this started on 26th of March 1975. Our country Pakistan signed this on 4th of October 1972. The general headquarter of the Bioweapon Convention are in Switzerland, Geneva where the meetings of BWC happened. There are total 183 state parties and 4 signatory states in Bioweapon Convention. The Bioweapon Convention has some of its articles, out of which the main are as follow. Key to prevent chemical terrorism. Not only Bioweapon Convention should work to get rid of bioweapon, but the people should also have to take some safety precaution. And the government should also have to take some act to stop this. In accordance to this, the terrorists cannot easily access the chemicals they seek. States parties to adopt the necessary measure to ensure that toxic chemicals are only used for non prohibit purposes. Following are some of the safety measures for people. Depending upon the situation, the people should wear a face mask to reduce inhaling or spreading germs. Avoid crowds. Wash your hands with soap and water frequently. Do not share food. Stay away from others or even the conclusions we get from this topic is that bioweapons are a harmful agent that are used in a war. Safety precautions regarding to prevention of bioweapon are necessary. Bioweapons are not effective tactical military weapons. The perfect bioweapon till now is anthrax. The treatment of the bioweapon is necessary. The government restrictions are also necessary for stopping bioweapons. One should must have an info about the symptoms of different bioweapon so that he spread this to other or internet is also a good that's all from our side i hope that our effort will help you thanks